Hello guys, in this video I'll tell you the best city for immigrants to live in Canada in the year 2018. So if you want to know it, stay tuned. Hello everybody, this is Shetan Chu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got many videos on Canadian immigration. Also, I'll be uploading a video series on Australian immigration very soon. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. Okay, now let me tell you that all the details shared in this video have been taken from moneysense.ca. This is a website. They conducted a survey lately and they conduct a survey every year actually and the results of the 2018 survey was published on July 31st, 2018. So without further ado, let me tell you that the best city for immigrants to live in Canada in the year 2018 is Oakville in the province of Ontario. Now, let me tell you that Money Sense gathered data on 415 cities across Canada and ranked how they measure up in 10 categories, namely wealth and economy, affordability, population growth, taxes, commute, crime, weather, access to healthcare, amenities, and culture. Now, top 50 cities to live in Canada was structured like this and almost half, actually half uh, of those 50 cities, 25 cities were in Ontario. So you can say probably Ontario is the best province to live in Canada. Now, top five cities for new Canadians, which means the immigrants was number five is Toronto in Ontario, the famous one. Number four is King. In Ontario, number three is Mont Royal in Quebec. Number two is Ottawa in Ontario, which happened to be the number one city for immigrants in the last year. And this year, you know, it's now it's Oakville in Ontario. Now, let me tell you a little about Oakville. So, this city is situated on the shores of Lake Ontario with a population of around 200,000 people, that is, 2 lakh people. Now, being situated just 40 kilometers from southwest Toronto, it provides an easy access to the massive job market of Toronto without paying the high prices of housing in the downtown of Toronto. Now, over the past 10 years, the percentage of visible minorities have increased from 18% to 31%. That means more people are getting interested. And about 30% of the residents speak a language other than English or French. So probably 60,000 people actually speak other than English and French. So, you know, definitely it's a big, big number. So it tells you the diversity of the culture of the language in this city. Here are a few other details that are mentioned. I'll provide the link to the website to the survey in the description box below. If you're interested, you can have a look. And I hope the information shared in this video was helpful to you. You can further, you know, do your research and check out the website, the survey. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. If you have any queries or doubts, please comment in the comment section below. I would also love to hear the feedback from you. Please like and share this video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you.